So Drive and Empire just released a very big update that has a lot of new cars. So before we get into reviewing what's new in the update, if you guys go to redeem a new code, there's the new code the Roblox which gives you a new rim that you can use in game. This is what the new Roblox rim looks like and I think it's kind of funny to have the Roblox logo as your rim. And it looks like the Roblox Studio logo, it doesn't even look like the actual Roblox games logo because of that split in the middle. And and here are the new cars that we have. First up, we have the BMW i8 or BKM E8 here. It's only 69k, but it's not really that quick. The top speed is only 283. Acceleration 0 to 103.8, and the handling is 55%. So it's quite decent handling, but it's somewhat of a slow car. But the car looks sick. It's very nice. I don't know if it sounds electric or if it sounds like a real engine engine but let's look at the next car we have the 2023 bkm b250i which must be a very new model because it says 2023 and we're still in 2022 but it's even slower than the other car lower acceleration and even worse handling but this car is barely 50k so it might be a good starter car but in my opinion just save up for better cars here we have an old model of a honda civic its acceleration is absolutely horrendous the top speed is 234 kilometers per hour and the handling is 45 percent and you can see the car is almost 44k but honestly i don't think it's worth it unless if you want to like do some drift montage then this is the perfect car for drifting other than that i don't see a point in having that car but next up we have this porsche i don't know where they brought this car from it's 800k and it's from the 1950s it's called the Prancep Speedster and I think this is like one of the first Porsche race cars or maybe it's just a luxury car. It's absolutely expensive and the top speed is horrendous. 188 kilometers per hour. Acceleration is 5.9 seconds and handling is 43%. The handling is not even that great for these kind of stats but yeah I don't think this car would work great in races but I like the fact that it's in the game. Next up we have a McLaren. This one is called the Labran 665GT. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between McLaren models, but this one does look sick. It's a 2016 model. It looks kind of nice. I don't like it in neon green. Let's go for orange, maybe. Yeah, it looks nicer in orange. And it's 300k. The top speed is 325 kilometers per hour. Acceleration 2.9. Handling is 67%. So it has quite decent handling. This car might be very good for the circuit race, so I might save up for it. And the last of the normal cars is the Vision Helios S. I don't know which car model this is in real life. If you know what this car is in real life, let me know in the comments below. But this car has 358 kilometers per hour as top speed, 3 second acceleration, 0 to 100, and very nice handling, 69%. So this car is gonna cost you 860k as well. But it looks absolutely sick, and I feel like this was originally uh, some sort of race car car but i don't know which race car this is but we also have two limited cars one of them is not on sale yet and the other one is already on sale and this is another mclaren this is the labran hhhps and it costs 888k and 888 dollars and this looks sick this is like the perfect mclaren look it goes 331 kilometers per hour the acceleration is 2.9 seconds from 0 to 100 and the handling is 74 percent so this is very good handling for quite a cheap car and it can definitely do great in a circuit race. So let's actually race with that new McLaren. By the way, a big thank you to this person for lending me the car because I have no money in game yet and I can't buy it. We're gonna be doing the drag race first to see how this car does. So this car is maxed out. So let's hope it actually does good. Oh my God, the speed on this thing is absolutely insane. What time are we gonna get? Oh my God, that was a seven flat it says 7.07 .07 right there so with a max out new mclaren the limited one you can aim at getting a seven second race in the drag race now we are testing it out in the highway race and we're going against a coiny seg so i don't know if we're gonna get beaten or not oh my goodness the speed on this thing it seems the top speed is around 370 kilometers per hour until we boost and we just got overtaken by that other car it doesn't really feel 
feel that quick for the highway race and there you go it's a 34.8 second race in the highway so if you think that's good enough for you you can definitely get the car but i don't think that's a really a great time in the highway race next up we're doing the circuit race and i think i might do quite well here as you can see that's actually my car right there the safety car so let's see can i beat my own car the coiny seg might also be quick i'm not sure if it has good handling or not but this car does have a good handling so we should be good through a lot of these corners we are currently p1 and we're going deep into that corner oh my goodness no 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 okay as long as i avoid making mistakes like that one i should be in a good position to win but my ca own car is actually catching up to me now i don't know the breaking points in this car which is why i might struggle this is my first ever circuit race with this car i'm just using the ones i use for my own mercedes and this one i mean as long as i don't flip or like completely miss a checkpoint i'll be completely happy if i'm being honest and it seems the car behind me just missed a checkpoint so we have a very dominant lead not gonna lie this car is kind of hard to drive it has decent handling but i don't know it just feels like it's too slidey like it's interaction with the bumps way too much which is bad if you're a consistent driver as you can see that bump just sent me wide but it's a fairly quick car and you can expect to have very good times in it we're definitely gonna do a sub 200 second race even with all those mistakes i did because overall it's a generally balanced car with the top speed and the handling usually cars either have very good handling and bad top speed or good top speed and bad handling this is a balanced car it's not very good in either one but it's decent in both of them and if you're a circuit race enjoyer i think this car might fit you oh my god i just missed a checkpoint at the end of the race there and lost p1 as well i was on track of getting like 190 but i missed a checkpoint like i said even with the mistakes sub 200 which is a decent time for circuit races you can definitely win a lot of circuit races in public servers with that and i definitely think this car can do like a 185 or a 180 if you're just a good driver and don't make any mistake and last but not least we're doing the cross country race which is one of the hardest races in this game and we're going up against some very quick cars these cars have very good top speed so they're definitely gonna beat us but i won't give up i'll give it my best we have better acceleration so let's try to have a nice getaway and avoid having any early mistakes you don't want to have mistakes against very good cars somehow we're still in the lead so that's kind of given me hope that i can win this race but i'm not quite sure let's not miss the checkpoints this car locks up quite easily maybe it's because i haven't gotten used to the breaking point so i have to break and turn every time so i've been locking up a lot but it's kind of understeer the car is not that as good as like the mercedes maybe in handling and we just missed a stupid checkpoint give me the checkpoint now we're gonna get overtaken no 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 oh my god we're getting caught up by some of the other cars that are in this race ah the jump the jump the jump oh that's such a deep jump okay we're still in the lead but we might not have it for much longer anymore because of the stupid mistakes that i made come on i'm just trying to pull away let's not make a mistake here i've missed so many checkpoints on this part that i don't want to miss anymore and this bridge needs an early turn in on the grass come on nice nice that was a very clean i think i just pulled away from them a little bit there and this is all about top speed so they might catch up to me i don't have the best top speed and i definitely see them catching me oh my god i just got overtaken by one of the cars Oh, look at that top speed. I got overtaken by both cars as well. Oh my god, one of them just completely flipped there. I think they have like very bad handling and they uh, through the corners, I seem to be catching up quite a lot. It's either because of skill or because their cars are very bad at corners, but now we're back on the straights, so they should pull away again. I am second and I don't see the other car anywhere behind me, so we should be guaranteed top two, maybe P1 if this guy makes a mistake. I don't know if he's gonna make a mistake though. We're basically at the end of the race now. Oh my god, 
god, we're catching up. Come on. Please, no. Oh my god, I was five tenths behind him. I was five tenths behind him. I almost caught him. The other guy rage quit, I believe. But I was so close right there to catching him. It's actually so annoying. But yeah, that's basically all for this video. Once they release the new limited car, I'll be sure to check us out for a video. And also, if you want to buy this new merch, it's going to be released for like 48 hours limited time only. So if you want to get us, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. I'm also going to release non-limited versions of it in different colors if you want to get those later in the week. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get 20k subs and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.